Welcome to the model of Ninth Wave. Superior inventions for financial markets using 369 forecasting research and development. Hello and welcome to this uh, quick demo of Galactic Yantra measurements on the market right here. This is also the mandala which you might have seen in the Buddhist monasteries and also various esoteric symbols. Now this is the precise measurement of it and uh, it is flexible that you can drag and drop because we just want to keep the measurements correct and the right ratios. Now how will that get applied to market we are going to apply that to our es daily charts and we have chosen kegi to be the chart so we can simply uh, look at the big bars of buyers and sellers on this daily time frame so we don't have to worry about uh, wicks or not having the wicks and what are we going to do is we are going to adjust the height of this one side to the height of the sell bar or the buy bar and then we are going to experience that these levels are going to give us the turn of time and on the right side and on top and bottom for the price we will also once the measurement is taken it curve it the height on the top so for example i will put this on the top once i have the measurement in the ongoing swing and get the measurements of the bottom the targets now this is unfolding uh, in various dimensions which also means we have at least two applications where we keep this height where it is found in the swing or we find the biggest height and we offset to the height of this top guy and you will get a lot of precise hits and once that is done these guys will also give us the time and this is a stepping stone into the higher dimensions so this green is also going to be a, a vibrational uh, incubator of the time and price which you will see so let's now you know the rules let's apply you simply drag and drop with one click now follow the rules we can start from the left side also and once we get the big bar that DNA is going to be unfolding and all the pullbacks this 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 these are nothing more than a monthly weekly and daily 12 months moving averages placed on it to show you the trend that's all there is and the pullbacks because big players always pull back to the weekly 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 and finally they go other way around pull back to the weekly weekly is this uh, middle one uh, same color as this orange gold and then pull back to the weekly pull back to the weekly right so and then this is a yearly as swings and volatility goes on the downtrend to much higher levels here we had a first pull back to the weekly pull back to the weekly but now pull back to the monthly pull back to the monthly now it is creating this shape from where it has broken to the top side
broke it, came back to retest it. So if this break is real and there's momentum behind it, we will find out the targets also. So now you know what this is showing, how you can easily get some swing, long term swings just by using these three moving averages, focusing on monthly and weekly. And if the momentum is really starting to pull down, it will not go down to weekly. The there are a lot of rules on moving averages itself, how to use them effectively, but uh, that's for other day. Let's do this one quickly. So apply the rule. We got this momentum going. We found this big bar. In the next, uh, in the first few months. Now we want to see how the structure is unfolding. We will find the stop also coming from this side. So let's uh, go from this side. All right, so there we are. So what we did was we took this measurement and now we have the right DNA structure for this unfolding of the event. And then uh, we can see the same height was held here and held here. So we know we want to see the first impulse anti-trend now it is getting pulled back first touch now we want to see where it is going to terminate so i just told you already once we have the height which is you can always offset it like this Let's zoom in a little bit make sure because remember as the height if the height is not correct as you move away from the distance right uh, the error gets higher all right looks like we got the right height now comes the question where are we going to place it so as i mentioned we are going to offset this height just if we just look at the height alone we know this structure is going to hit this area and it went up almost 250 points all right as you can see let me mark it so there's no confusion now height is still active because there's no bigger bar found yet we can just keep the same height here for the next swing swing to swing so I'm putting it right here I'm putting it right there as you can see and I'm offsetting it and I'm finding the hidden structures just in five minutes in this five minutes four minutes was just explanation and talking time anybody can do this very effectively now this is this guy right so now if the market now we can have a hypothesis Now that is still unfolding the same uh, DNA bar we found initially. We also have this exhaustion, right? Now we can say, okay, we can use this guy and offset it from here as well. So there are a couple of conditions we have to check. So like here, we can say 44, here's our forecast based on this DNA. If it is just a pullback and going to the down leg, our down leg is going to hit 44, 50, 3450, right? So, so you got this. Now you see this, uh, uh, this green one showed up in the middle. That is why it is the way it is. Anyways, so so we got that now in this downswing this is we found another biggest swing as well even though it is at the end it is a structure exhaustion structure right that is what put the bottom 
we got the right height. I'm just putting this to this bar height, this height. Now I got my structure. I just put it there. What do you get? Roughly you're getting confluence of events around 34, 50s. Now these are going to be ranges. On the, remember this is daily bars. We are looking at an area. So there we go. So I mark my area right here. 3300, 3370, 30, right here, okay. And we just keep it marked forever. All right. Second part of the equation I was talking about was uh, if you keep our height in the same location there's a possibility we can get some turn times also this is where it got vertical this is where it got vertical so you can assume there's going to be some reactions coming from here They got vertical here, vertical here, right? So this could be our holding of long areas uh, coming up here. Now, if I go back to this, sorry, where my uh, initial, this is the top, this is the top, and this is the top. right I'm placing this top again right here we already got these heights now I'm looking for uh, some time components based on this biggest exhaustion bar and I'm offsetting to my height just getting my potential reversal areas market is going up this looks like a potential reversal is coming now same thing potential reversal is coming up down up reversal is coming somewhere here now, again this is happening giving us the context very high level context we have astrophysics tools to refine it further but you got the idea. So this is how this tool uh, can be used very effectively. Now let's say now let's say this we got a new swing here, and we got a new swing here. Now let's assume that we are heading in the up direction because of the ascending triangle being broken, or so what do we do? Rules are pretty simple. We find the big bar in the direction we are going. So this looks like a big bar going in this direction and I don't see any other big bar. So this one looks like a big impulse bar. They all look like the same height. So let's measure that height. Okay, and then if we just keep it at the bottom, this is bottom two. We got this height right here of where it's gonna go and reverse. So we mark it, and we do this when this is found and this is going, and we find it and we apply it. And there we go. Time comes here, the reversal time is coming on 6-5 next month. Remember, these are very large uh, swing times, right? So what we do is we had this reversal. We're just looking at probabilities. Now, if you were going with the triangle also, you know, it was on uh, this triangle bottoms, time was here. Now, this time is coming here. If it goes up, reversal will come 
during this around 6 5 time frame so we just mark it like that and we have to see if it is going down very hard into this it may reverse up if it goes very hard up into it and then it will reverse it during that time window we just mark it and once we get there we will see how to evaluate that second part is now we're going to put this mentella at the bottom we're looking at the price range now at 4444 which is interesting which is number seven uh, so let's mark it like this okay it will happen tomorrow no it might take some up and down up and down but i think it has broken the sending or whatever the triangle you want to call it we are heading in this direction so we just mark this areas like this and we have some sentiment analysis going like this right and if you move this since this is a pivot and you move it to this next pivot the bottoms next height is coming right here which is going to retest this level from 2022 when the first impulse came down we just mark that also All right, so we have the heights, vibration heights based on Mandela on the top and the bottom. And based on this bottom, we see on the left side, this was the low. This is also reversal, which I think came from some other location. So we have the low here as well. So there we go. So it overlapped twice. So this is how simple it is. It took uh, 17 minutes out of which my talking was 12 minutes if I don't talk I can do this in less than one minute that's all it takes now we have the context and we don't make judgment of this should be the top or this should be the bottom and whatever it is let it get into our projected levels and our time zone and then we react according to that right now it is compressing and remember the laws of compression if this whole side is a side of a square if you take this sideways action as a side of a square which is let's say we take a side of mandela to be the entire side like this right like this it just broke out let's say up to this point point. Well, let's say the whole thing and well, let's put it to the height if you capture this and do it properly a little bit because remember uh, this is geometry and we are not doing it on a square chart so don't expect 100% uh, uh, precision but if you look at this also this sideways range is now going to vibrate to the high and low see that reflection points on the top and the bottom now this is also overlapping our areas now this can happen in any time frame i'm doing it on daily because the bigger structures will dictate the lower structures and if you knew this is coming this is coming and we can also do this here too right so okay so then we act accordingly so now the plan has been established that this is where we will do something let it unfold and resolve in one side of the other and it might take few months to go it may take maybe december all the way to get here and then or it may just take some time to get here some panic news or war or some super excitement will take us there so right now based on the moving averages we are above this is the uh, this one right here let me make it fatter the weekly is extremely strong i've been showing this to all professionals for a long time weekly is the king pullback now they are 
various kinds of weekly averages but I'm just showing you this one it broke down sorry it broke above all the three moving averages it came back where weekly 200 points again 100 points right so the first revisit of weekly after the break is very strong so this is a free trip for the world let's now test it on the left side same thing now I'm not going to talk much which is kind of a challenging scenarios because I have to explain and help you so I'm just limiting data here we can go back also but let's see if we can get to the stop based on this logic now it, as I said in this visual impulse this is one impulse same impulse and it was held obviously you can draw 10 lines whatever but you can see the 12 weekly is holding we just discussed it now let's put a measurement on it this is the now we're going up I need to find a big impulse move on the top side in the direction of my move the direction is bullish which is going long so we'll find this measurement and we will see place it just like we place the measurement on the top pivot so we're going to place the measurement on the bottom pivot and as we travel through time if you find a bigger better range we will uh, readjust it this is how the DNA of the market restructures and unfolds I hope I took it correctly oops the height I made it a little bit bigger I can squeeze it a little bit all right so this is good enough not to waste time let's wrap this up so we're gonna measure this from here we were expecting market is gonna go here and get some pushback it did a little bit trend is too strong doesn't matter but it got some reaction into our level okay that's fine next we're gonna move it over here again or here with first touch right first touch second touch what do we get we measure we just mark these levels there's nothing 100% in the market for anybody everybody has to now this this is a science from uh, different dimensions right higher dimensions and okay and we mark it And they mark it. Yeah, height is correct. And we mark it again. Okay, so this is where we are able to get. We are off by 50 points, but the point is a simple vibrational model of the universe predicted. And we got reactions, reactions, and finally, this is what uh, Gantz world people call loss of momentum. But I think it's more about our lack of knowledge uh, for us, right? Because universe doesn't give everything. Now, if I put this bottom again here but you can see what has happened it did not go to the top but it went to this inner rectangle it's not even a square it's Mandela to the height of it so this is where once you have these measurements you have to, to look into technicals after that what is going on and this is daily we zoom in into four hours and hourly do the same thing and you can just pretty much pick all these points and this is where the very high level is I hope this uh, just doing it live 
uh, doing it together and you can see what's going on now we put this also for the timing so this time got reflected right here see this on the top so the reflections of time in mandala are good as you can just see it right here and we have placement is the key where we place it and then we came with the idea that the placement is where the impulses we are measuring from now if you look at the right side we got this shots this is the true principle of reflection in time unfolding right here in front of you we can do this one also because remember every time you touch every time you touch this and i'm measuring from here getting my height i'm also getting my time now here on the right side it's right there here let's do it again Now this green one overlapped here, making a stronger one. This guy, it came right here, which is fine. So we were expecting to go long anyways in this price. It, timer came here, which is okay. Now, this was the last pivot, it broke down. And this one overlapped with this time from the other measurement, right? Double. So you have to track this. You have to wait for months and months. This is not a tick level trading. This is already there. I think we already did it. So it came here twice somewhere from this side we just did. And from here we just did, right? Precisely. So double time reflections of this guy in time through the Mandela jumps you have to go through this and you can see this green one also which showed up here on the left side so pretty much this is what I wanted to cover now this is ultimately we are bringing the history of centuries and centuries and centuries into the modern world through our astute observations and and you can just see it unfolding in front of you now we should all be involved in such research ideas because if you think this has helped us decipher the code right That means there's a lot more to learn and uncover. On the downside, I just took two bars. There are also other bars too, like this bar is also pretty high, third side, right? So if you do all these heights, everything is gonna just show up. I just wanted to show you this. There is a science behind science, and this is just one of them. People, uh, if you go and look for Mandela in Buddhist monasteries, Indian monasteries, they draw all these shapes, but there's a bigger meaning. Even the universe itself respects these. So these shapes have very deep meanings, uh, not just uh, mantras, deep meanings, right? Architectures in the scriptures, architectures in the uh, spiritual world, they all signify a lot more than we understand. I just wanted to show you one of them. Thank you, I appreciate.